All right, geometry students, we're going to look at unit one, lesson two, which is constructing patterns. Our goals are, I can follow instructions to create a construction. So we might be told, make this segment, copy this segment, um, create a perpendicular. We're going to be told a few things and try and create a picture based off of that. I can use precise mathematical language to describe a construction. So when we look at a construction, can we use our language that we know, perpendicular, parallel, things like that, to describe what's going on in the picture. So a few things to review. Circle is uh, one word because we're going to use that a lot. Remember, that's all the points, um, the same distance from a center. Line segment, remember, is a line with endpoints that's straight. We don't have any curves in these. And then new word that we're going to be focusing on today is parallel. Lines that are at the same slope and will never touch or cross. This is known mathematically as intersecting. All right, our warm-up for tomorrow that I want you to take a look at. I know that the picture is kind of small. Look at it as best you can and see what you can come up with. But two circles with center A, B. If you notice, we have circles. The circle over here with center A, circle on the right with center B, and then we have um, C and D on the outsides, and E and F are where they intersect or cross. And then we have the connection between A and E, B and B, B and F, F and A, right there. So based off of this diagram, if you just kind of map it out on your own paper, what I want you to do is try and explain why you think these statements are true. And they all are true, you just need to come up with why. So I want you to dig into your math knowledge and figure out, okay, these are true because of this, and just explain it. This is kind of known as a proof, so we're going to try and prove these things true. All right, so the first one we want to look at is segment EA and segment EB, and we're saying that they're equal. So why are those two segments equal? The second one we're going to look at here is a, B, F. If you notice, there's a little triangle at the bottom here, and it is equilateral. Equilateral means that all three sides are the same. So A, F, F, B, and B, A. All three of those sides are the same length. All right, number three says A, B, this distance right here, equals one-third times C, D. So this distance here from C to D is a distance, and A to B is one third of that. It's, it's not, it's a lot less. It, it takes three of them to make one. So try and explain how that happens. All right, the last one here, number four is CB. So C to B, from C to B, that distance equals the distance from D to A. So try and come up with either a mathematical um, way to prove these or a verbal way of kind of explaining how you think this works. Do the best you can. Um, we'll talk about where you've, how you've done it right, how you've done it wrong, and where we can um, kind of go from there tomorrow. Thanks.